This is Marcus Brown, and I'm on the Crystal Heart Show. It's the road to the 2012 London Olympics, with the opening ceremony being Friday, July 27. As a part of the kickoff, we're here in New York City, where Times Square has been transformed into a festive Olympic village, shining a spotlight on the inspiring stories of the athletes that make up Team USA. Where do you train? Um, I train in Staten Island. Okay. Um, New York, Staten Island. Out of the Atlas Cops and Kids Boxing Gym. Okay. Yep. And uh, you got into boxing when you were how old? 13 years old. And how did that happen? Um, a friend of mine that passed away, um, they used to call him Speedy, and I, he was like a couple years older than me. So um, one day I followed him to the gym. I was a little knucklehead. Um, I, t I didn't know my trainer at the time, and I didn't know what sparring was at the time, so I just told my trainer I wanted to fight. Yeah. So he put me in there, and this kid hit me with a body shot. I fell, started crying. My man Speedy told me to get back up, and I've just been doing it ever since. Just getting back up, that's... that's is, what's your, do you have like a mantra or like, do you have like a, a words to live by, anything you, you, you live by every day? Um, always, always to remember to stay hungry and humble because hungry anything humble. can happen. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, you got to have it in boxing. You got to have it in any sport, really, because it's such a passion yeah, it's to definitely. be connected to, to doing it every day. Yeah. Um, have you, do, you're a lightweight, heavy boxer, uh, light, heavy, light heavyweight, yes. sorry. Uh, what does that exactly mean? Um, the 178 pound class division. Okay. So, I mean, you have to weigh in at the 178 pound limit. Okay. Yep. And so what are you at right now? I'm at 180. 180, okay. Um, what's your favorite move in boxing? My favorite move? Yeah. The check hook. The check hook? Yeah. Marcus, you're up. All right. Who's up with Marcus? Yeah. What's your yeah, name? Tayshawn. And uh, how, how do you feel about going up against uh, Marcus? Nervous. I, Nervous. I don't wanna, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to show you a combination. Excellent. Perfect. All right. So Marcus is going to show some combinations here with hey, our, uh, our nervous uh, demonstrator. So basic, basically what I showed him was a jab and a one-two. All right. The jab, a jab and the one-two. So throw the jab. Slip, nice. Slip. One-two. Slip. One. Slip. He just taught him that right now. Nice. So. Very nice. <laughs> Jab, slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip. So Excellent. basically he's, he's fighting and defending at the same time. He's fighting and defending. And you just learned that like five minutes ago, right? Yeah. What do you think? He's ready to go. I mean, he's all right. He's, <laughs> he's, he's a good novice. We're going to take this. Promise. Take a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, let's this. see that again. All right. So jab, slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip. Tell us your experience because as you know, the U.S. Olympic boxing team has not done that well over the last couple of Olympics after really being the best or one of the best in the world for many years. Tell us what your preparation has been, and especially for this style of boxing, which obviously is different than pro box. Um, you know, last, last year I went to the World Championships and I lost in my qualifying bout for the Olympic Games. So that kind of set me back and, you know, just training for the Olympics is, you know, definitely a different thing because you gotta score points and you gotta be active and moving and stay light on your feet. You can't, you know, sit down and be, be heavy on one foot. I mean, so the training has been hard and it's been a lot of things that you gotta change and sharpen up on, but it's not nothing that I can't handle or nothing that we can't do because, you know, America's been, you know, slept on for a little minute, but I think this team has a lot of gold medal potential. I'm not trying to, you know, um, you know, count our eggs before they hatch. How long have you been boxing for? Um, this is going on my ninth year. I've been boxing since I was 13, so I've been I've been boxing for a little while now. You came up through the Golden Gloves and all that. Yes, I, I won three of those, three of those titles, um, a couple of national titles, Olympic trials, U.S. championships. So the Golden Gloves been good to me. New York's been good to me. How has it been adjusting to the international style? Because even sometimes, you know, amateur boxing in the U.S. is a little more influenced by the pro style. Um, you know what it is? Like other countries are just disciplined because, you know, American boxers are, like, you know, flashy, try to look, you know, stylish. Those guys are just disciplined on, on the basic things. And that's the things that I've been trying to work on myself, just staying disciplined on the basic things. Did you, I assume you watched the boxing at the 2008 Olympics mm -hmm. where what you said seemed to happen that a lot of the bo American boxers were showing off and doing all that stuff where they weren't scoring the exactly. points. 
and you know things like that I mean it's good to look good but at the end of the day you just got to win the fight by any means necessary so that's the that's the type of outlook that I'm going towards at the at the qualifier and then once I qualify at the Olympic Games now have you thought about turning pro at some point oh yeah most definitely because it's like I won the Olympic trials and I lost in my qualifying bout and I had to win my spot and I had to win the US championships to be able to go to the next qualifier so it was a little hurdle and it was and it was a first time thing that USA boxing have, have ever done so I was kind of hurt by it but at the end of the day I got the I got the task done I won the US championships now I'm able to go to the next qualifier so now I'm just you know taking it one day at a time not not looking forward not looking past anything just taking it one fight at a time because right now every fight is my last fight because it's like I got to win this fight and then win this fight and then win another fight and then get to the Olympics and then win that fight, win that fight and try to get gold. Has there been less drama this time out than there was in 2008 where there were all these stories, conflicts with the coaches and the athletes and all that stuff? Oh yeah, most definitely. The, 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 the um, training staff is going well. Um, the team, my teammates are great, great guys to be around. Um, so there's definitely no drama going on right now. Everything is smooth sailing. Everybody's focused on, you know, either qualifying or getting a medal at the games for the guys who already qualified. Now, if people want to follow you online, are you using, you know, Twitter or Facebook or yes, anything? you can follow me at Marcus underscore Brown with an E at the end. At Marcus score un Brown with an underscore Brown with an E at the end. Um, on Facebook, Marcus Brown with an E at the end. So you, you can follow me. I update those, you know, as my fights progress. I let guys know what's going on when I win fights and stuff like that. It's great because people can directly communicate with Most you. Most definitely. It's like, you know, I'm right here. You can, you can write me and I'll write right back to you. That's good. Well, we wish you luck. We hope you qualify, you qualify your way. And we're looking forward to seeing how you do in London. Most definitely. I appreciate you guys for, you know, giving me this interview. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.